What's going on guys? This is Ryan with the RK Outpost, and I think we are finally at the bottom of the hill that has been the disaster of the Cyberpunk 2077 launch. If you're CD Projekt Red, you have to be sitting there and looking and saying everything that could have gone wrong has, and the blame falls squarely on the shoulders of the CD Projekt Red executives who misled people, who lied to people, and took advantage of the trust that people gave them in order to take your money. Well now, they are being forced to give all that money back, whether it's them, retailers, digital stores, it is an absolute disaster, and the stock has reflected that. Take a look at what happened uh, in the last couple days. You can see Cyberpunk, had, you know, CD Projekt Red stock had started to rebound a little bit after the disastrous launch. After everyone was talking about all the bugs, the glitches, how the game was unfinished, how the game was not performing on base consoles, and yet it started to do a little bounce back. Then it falls off a cliff as Sony announces they will be providing full refunds and pulling it off the store. And then Xbox followed suit. We have some more updates for you about who exactly is offering Cyberpunk 2077 refunds. You take a look at this right before the launch, up at $31 per share, and then it has just fallen off a cliff. And before we go any further... You have to feel for the developers themselves, the ones who worked on this game, because they are pissed off too. They are furious at the executives for pushing this game out there when it was clear it wasn't ready to go on base consoles, when it was clear they just wanted to put it out this year, regardless of anything, regardless of the blowback, they thought they'd be okay. That is now affected all the employees there when it comes to their pay, when it comes to the potential future of the company and their job, let alone if they had any stock invested in the company. What an absolute disaster. Now, one of the thing we one thing we learned after I put up my video yesterday about Microsoft pulling it as well, or Microsoft providing refunds as well, but leaving it up on the store, we saw this leak out. It was from Best Buy. Best Buy is allowing returns of un of opened Cyberpunk 2077 copies until December 21st. Now that is departure from the norm. Usually if you have opened it, you're not going to be able to return it to Best Buy. That is their policy but look at this normally best buy is unable to offer returns of opened game software per our return and exchange policy however after some deliberation and seeing that the vendor will be allowing returns through 1221 which is what they announced cd project red when they first came out with this apology hey sorry we lied to you and stole your money you can try to return it with us if you send us an email before december 21st so if there's anybody that still needs to do that i highly recommend you do best Best Buy is going to do the same thing, allow returns of open Cyberpunk 2077s at their store. Now, CD Projekt Red set records when this launched. They had 8 million pre-orders. Who knows? We don't even really have the official numbers yet from what I've seen of the first week of sales. It has to be astronomical, but the returns will be as well. It's so much so that you now have articles being written. Here's how to get your Cyberpunk 2077 refund because it's so many people. CD Projekt Red, like we talked about, you can email them. Uh, they sent me a stock email back. That's all I've gotten. I haven't had any follow-up. They're supposed to follow up. We'll see if it happens. Uh, PlayStation, like we said, they will offer full refunds and they pulled it down off of the store. Xbox as well, Microsoft is accepting full refunds for any digital game, regardless of how much you've played it. Um, Steam, Steam asks customers to log in and fill an online form to request a refund, which must be done within 14 days of buying the game and only if you played the game for less than two hours. But it looks like they are evaluating, right? They're evaluating the, the refunds for Cyberpunk specifically. I've, I think that they're probably going to just do it like everyone else has done. Then you have Amazon. The online retail giant will be accepting returns of opened Cyberpunk 2077 games through December 21st. Same way that Best Buy has decided to. After CD Projekt Red made that announcement, they're like, you know what? We're going to accept those returns too. GameStop is really the only one who is not doing Doing it. Vice has reported GameStop advised its in store employees not to provide direct refunds of open copies of Cyberpunk 2077 and refer customers back to CD Projekt Red. That is what happened to me when I went to GameStop, was where I got my PS4 copy, which again, I played it on PC, I'd pre ordered this forever ago. Cyberpunk on PC is a different experience than this. Tried to return it, they said no dice. That is why I am stuck in the email chain. 
Evidently, for some people, they did make some exceptions. They did return some open copies if you had bought it within seven days. But obviously, that window has come and gone for GameStop. Now, seven days is too long. It came out on December 10th. And of course, the Best Buy. This is a disaster, but it is all their own making. Like I have said... This is a great article that I found. Sony pulls Cyberpunk 2077 offers refunds. CDPR misled investors in October. And it's not just October. It has been for a long, long time. Well, obviously, we had the big... That was when it really blew up. When Sony said, hey, by the way, we're going to provide full refunds and pull the game from the store. 2019 developer statements. Look in 2019, they said this. One of the things we learned with Witcher 3 was you should not delay working on the console versions ever. So at all times, we have a version running for everything. And of course, the high-end version we're showing running is completely different to the consoles, but the current gen started is starting to get old. So there's some things that won't look as crisp, but the important thing to us is that it will be fluid. It will play on your machine. There are limitations for any given hardware, but we'll do everything we can to squeeze in as much as we can. Uh, we're targeting consoles as first class platforms and it looks amazing there. So obviously if you spent, you know, two grand building your PC rig, it's going to look better, but the graphics are quite amazing for what you're going to get on consoles and low end PCs. This is in 2019. Keep that in mind for all you fucking people out there saying, well, you shouldn't play it on console. This is their statements in 2019 before PS5, before Xbox series X would have been available to test. This is what they're saying about PS4 and Xbox One. So go fuck yourself if you're one of those people that is continuing to say that. Then in October 2020, now this is what Adam Kaczynski says. According to him, CDPR is finalizing the process on Xbox One and PS4. He specifically states the only things left to be fixed are technical things at the very final stage. Uh, here's the quote. I think we should have had the game playable at earlier stages. Well, you told us in 2019 that it was playable. Isn't that interesting? With such a big game, too many things may have been put together at a late stage. We should have had more playable builds earlier. We can organize the technical side by putting together playable versions earlier than before. Then here comes this lie. He reiterated, I wouldn't say there is a problem because there's nothing wrong with Xbox or PS4 versions. There's optimization to be handled. Also because of how we were approaching things from the get-go in terms of development. So there is no problem with Xbox or PlayStation 4, to be honest. Yet again, lying to their investors, which is in a sense lying to all of you because all of us can see those. Those are all open. We can see all the transcripts which we've shown on this channel before. This is absolutely insane. And like we said, they withheld information about this all the way. When it came time for the release, they provided no review codes for console. Just wanted you to trust that they were right. They only provided review codes for PC. No one even got to see that captured gameplay because of how closely they were hiding everything. How much they wanted to fool you to get your money. This is an absolute ridiculous disaster that we have really never seen to this level. And what I mean by that is I don't think we've ever seen a game that was had the hype level of Cyberpunk 2077 that failed this way. Now, you have had things like Fallout 76. You have had things like Anthem. A Anthem is kind of close to that, I guess. But the difference is people didn't have that trust, that trust in the developer that they have for CD Projekt Red. People held them to such a high standard, said, you're incredible, CD Projekt Red. You, you always care about us customers first before anything. No one had any bones about that. No one had any thoughts about that in reference to EA and Anthem. Now, I don't think that this game is quite as broken as a lot of those games, but the difference is the misleading of customers, specifically telling them one thing, hiding any evidence, and then coming out with this. I think that is the big difference when it comes to these things. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Again, I want to say, if you're a developer for this game, if you put your heart and soul into this game, I feel for you because the executives fucked you over. They didn't give you enough time and now we are where we are. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.